I'm going to show you how to make vanilla fruit scones. They're quick and simple and they're the perfect thing for a classic British cream tea. So before I start doing any cooking, I've got the oven preheating and I'm going to put my baking sheet in the oven as well. And I'm doing that so that the sheet gets really nice and hot and that's going to give the scones an extra boost and a burst of heat as they go into the oven and make them rise even taller and be more fluffy. I'm now going to sift some flour, baking soda and baking powder into a large bowl. And I'm sifting it to aerate everything and to mix those raising agents together into the flour. Now we're going to add some butter. And what we're going to do is rub it in. And I've got some very cold butter here and it's really important it's cold. That's the secret to having a lovely flaky light scone. And I'm going to use my hands and rub this together until the butter disappears. And it's going to look like fine breadcrumbs when I've finished. So these scones are sweet, so I need to add the sugar. In goes some regular granulated or caster sugar. And here I've got some nice plump raisins or sultanas or any dried fruit you like. Now, the liquid ingredients. What I've got here in this pan is some milk that I heated up just gently. And to that I've added a couple of teaspoons of lemon juice and that soured the milk. It's going to work to give the scones some extra lift. I need to beat an egg. I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of the egg to the milk mixture. Okay, I'm going to save the rest of that egg to glaze the scones later on. And a bit more flavouring here, I'm going to add some vanilla extract. Always choose extract if you can rather than using essence because it's got a, a better flavour. Now I've got to combine the two. And here I've got to work quite quickly because I want to make sure that the liquid ingredients are combined into the dry fairly fast so I don't get any dry patches. One of the key things to remember making scones is not to overwork the dough. It makes them a bit too tough so we're going to be really light and quick with this. You want to work this together to make a soft rough dough. I'm not looking for a smooth texture or anything like that. Once the liquid ingredients have gone in then stop. The dough is ready to stamp out now. What I'm going to do is just shape this dough into something resembling a smooth I'm not going to knead it or overwork it. I'm just pressing it into a nice smooth shape. That's all. So a lot of people go wrong when they make scones by kneading it like crazy and that's how you're going to end up with the tough mixture. We want it to be really delicate and fluffy inside. I'm going to leave it fairly thick and that way we're going to get nice big tall scones. Now I've got my little cutter here and I'm just going to make sure that that's dipped in some flour and by doing that I'll get a cleaner cut each time. In fact, I'm going to put a bit more flour on top and let's start stamping. Okay, there's one. Freeing the scone from the rest of the dough. What I'm not doing is twisting it in the mixture. This helps to keep the edges nice and tall and clean and straight. So next I'm going to glaze them and I got the rest of that egg from earlier on and a nice pastry brush here. This isn't essential, but it gives them a lovely glossy top. So now I need to go back to the oven and pick up that really hot baking sheet that went in earlier on. Right. Now, I'm not going to butter this or anything like that. I'm going to scatter some flour on top of my baking tray. So that's going to stop the scones from sticking. One by one. In 10 to 12 minutes time, we're going to have a beautiful batch of towering scones. They look great. So they're really golden and risen. Put them onto a cooling rack until they're cold.